With the school year just around the corner, there is a renewed focus on how to keep students safe. At the annual Oregon School Safety Conference, officials are sharing new strategies to identify potential threats before it's too late. Fox 12 investigative reporter Ezra Kaplan was at the conference today and has the details. While students are out enjoying their summer, administrators and educators are gathered here in Seaside to discuss student safety. Top of mind for all of them is how to stop the next school shooting before it happens. On the Oregon coast, school resource officers from around the state are gathered for their own education. Joining their ranks is the FBI, sharing some lessons of their own. What we know is that people don't snap. There is always planning and preparation, and there are always behavioral changes. FBI Portland Supervisory Special Agent Laura Monte says that her agency gets over 2,000 tips from the public every month. They investigate every single one, but that doesn't always mean the solution is handcuffs. Since August 1st of last year, Portland FBI has been informed of approximately 57 threats to schools across the state of Oregon. Not one of those has resulted in the arrest of a juvenile. Of those, seven came from the public. The law enforcement officers all agree that it's the community members who are best positioned to notice the warning signs, since every case can look a little different. It's more about noticing a change. So that could be some, a child who was previously very happy to go to school, is suddenly fighting to go to school, suddenly their grades have changed. While the concerning behaviors online are more specific, we really want to encourage that you know your child best. Ultimately, something that worries you, that you know this person and now this person is really worrying you, that's where we encourage you to go to that website or to start speaking to other people in your community. They say that sometimes the best place to start the conversation is with administrators at the school. But there's also safeoregon.com, where anyone, including students, can report a tip anonymously. And even though it can be hard to have conversations about things like potential violence, Monty says they are crucial. We recognize that it is an uncomfortable conversation, but the reality is all of these kids are participating in active shooter drills in their schools already. And they're thinking about it. Um, I'm in the hallway. If there's a, a person with a gun coming, where do I hide? Max Schachter's son, Alex, was killed in the Parkland school shooting. Now, he makes it his mission to help prevent another tragedy. And we know that the next school mass murderer is already out there. The next gun that he will use is already out there. So, I thank God we haven't had a terrible tragedy in, in, in a while in Oregon, but you've just been lucky. Now, law enforcement is asking for help from the public to identify the next threat that could be around the corner before luck runs out. Now, the FBI is working to reach kids directly, trying to teach them about the warning signs to be looking out for, specifically things like behavior changes, enough that maybe you want to talk to somebody about it. If you want to take a look at the social media campaign that they're starting with Reels and TikToks, head to our website, kptv.com. Reporting in Seaside, Ezra Kaplan, Fox 12 Oregon.